Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Oh my god, they told myself I wouldn't say that. Here we are. It's too late to go back now. <laughs> it's not too late. I literally just started. It's not too late. Hey, guys. I thought that. I hope you guys are well. Hope you're hanging in there. Hope you're doing okay. Hope everyone is safe. And, um, huh, distraction time. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing alright. Me personally, ups and downs over here. I'm just taking it um, kind of one day at a time and just doing whatever I think is going to be the most fun thing to do that day. <laughs> Which has mostly been making a lot of TikToks and playing a lot of Animal Crossing. <laughs> and today, I feel like playing dress up. That sounds like the most fun thing I could do today. And guess what I happen to have? It is the UV Me 2020 collection. Before we open these guys up, it's a cute to do. <laughs> things first. This video is sponsored by Vivi. Of course, that will not just change or affect how I review these wigs. You know, I'm keeping 100 with you all the time. Uh, sponsored and featured patron. Our featured patron today is Nicholas. I am very pleased to have you, Nicholas. Thank you so much for being part of our Patreon bloody pal family. And I hope you are looking forward to a very, very colorful, dressy, yuppy, review -y sort of distraction today. And speaking of the Patreon Paletti Pals, I did ask them ahead of time if they had any questions specifically about this collection, whether it be about a specific wig or the entire collection in general. Let's just jump in and I'll kind of try to answer those questions as we go. What do you think about that, Nicholas? <laughs> this is all fun. <laughs> I will go ahead and pop up the image of this collection. Two things right off the bat that I noticed. One is that they don't have names. It can be kind of tricky to pinpoint the one that you want because as a full collection, they're all listed together on one shopping page. There's not like individual pictures of each of these. So it's kind of just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Upon first inspection, I kind of thought that would be a little bit of an issue, but now that I'm looking at it, it seems pretty clear which one is which. The other thing that is jumping out at me about this collection, this is this is common with Uvimi's wigs, and that is that each of the wigs in the product photos has been styled. This is like the number one question that the pals asked too on Patreon. From our previous Uvimi wig review videos, I would assume none of these are going to be styled as they are in the product photos. The thing is, <laughs> uh, I don't mind that they're styled in the photos because it gives you some great ideas about what can be done with these wigs. However, there are no pictures of them not styled. So like, you have no idea what you're getting, which is an issue to me. I would love Uvimi to post their stuff like beautifully, immaculately styled <laughs> pictures of their wigs and then also post them all just like straight out of the bag, like not styled at all, just so that you know you have better expectations of what you're ordering. You know what I mean? So Uvimi, if you're watching this, if you're listening, <laughs> consider that. I think a lot of people would like it. But definitely keep the style pics too because your styling is magic. Oh my god, I've already been rambling so long and haven't even dived into this. Dove into it? Whatever. <laughs> so let's open up this first bag and see. This looks beautiful. So this one, this looks like blue too, which seems like from the picture is going to be one of my favorites. I have a few favorites that I'm really, really excited to look at. It's this blue split. I'm really excited about the two that are yellow, pinky, and purple. So many questions on the pals about the rainbow one too. So I'm really excited to look at all of those. <laughs> I'm excited to look at all of them, but especially these. Let's check her out. Thoughts already. I got some thoughts for you. Are you ready? First of all, should I turn this camera down? Is it too bright? Hold on. Okay, better. I thought, based on the product, this is exactly why you need a, a picture of them down. Because the blue side looks as expected. The purple side, I had no idea the whole middle section, like most of the entire purple side, is this light, like, lavender-y purple color. It matches this lavender wig, it matches this lavender wig. I thought this whole side would be this color. Right? Didn't you? It's just the dark root up here and the bottom down here. What? I had no idea. I have always loved this color combination of teal and purple. 
Because growing up, I was like a little athlete, and um, I grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina, and our team, our basketball team, was the Hornets, and our colors were these two colors. So this color combo together, it makes my like, makes me really happy. Okay, actually, without like any sort of effort, like I was just putting this on with no mirror while I was telling a story about my childhood. <laughs> actually looks really cute. If I put aside my expectations of what I thought this wig would be, just put that aside. It doesn't match what I thought it was gonna be. But now that it's like on my head, I like it. If I bought this wig, if I paid for this wig, I would be like, um, the f But as someone who got it for free from UV Me, I'm kind of low-key stoked. I think it's cute. <laughs> As for the cut, it has these two cute little pieces that frame the face. Um, I love the length of these. If they're much longer than this, they kind of connect underneath your chin and make it look like you had a little beard strap. <laughs> I hope that whoever buys this wig sees this video first so that they know what this purple looks like when it's not styled in an updo. Which, by the way, a lot of the pals wanted me to try to style some of these wigs like the product photo. A few things about that. <laughs> One is that there is very clearly, very obviously a master stylist at UV. <laughs> like, those wigs in the product photos are so beautiful. Um, me? <laughs> Not a master stylist, but I will try my best. I will try it on a wig that I don't have as much to say, which I feel like I've already been talking about this one for so long. We have eight more wigs to cover, so. So, let's see which one this is. <gasps> Pretty. Ooh. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> this one looks like it is probably red three. This color is beautiful. This color is exactly what I was expecting. It is this rich, really beautiful, dark red color. Can you guys see that? Ooh, it's so pretty. Ooh, it's pretty and soft. Mm. <laughs> Again, like with this wig, in the product photo, this wig is styled in an updo, so I really didn't know too much what to expect. It looks like it has little curly bits, which is actually perfect for styling, so I can see why they would do it in an updo. You have some straight hair to work with here, and then a little poof at the end. Okay, let's try her on. Forgot to mention in this one if it has any clips in it. Okay, so this one, this one has these two clips. Right, very good. But then, really seems like she ha should have two clips. She has this one here, no clip over here, but what you do have over here is this loose piece of string here, and it looks like some of these are loose as well. I'm wondering if there was a clip here, or there's supposed to be a clip here or something, and maybe it just came off? But there's not one in the bag. I don't know. It doesn't seem quite right, <laughs> but... I'm, it's just missing. It's the ghost of a clip. <laughs> if you really, really like this wig and you want to take that chance, it it's an easily fixable problem. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to have to fix something on your new wig, but I'm just saying, if you really like it and you really want it, it's easy to fix. <laughs> That's all. Okay, so our little burgundy hair here. It's so sweet. It's <laughs> it's quite cute as well. This is this feels so sweet. As I mentioned before, the color of this wig is spot on to what I was expecting. It is a deep, rich, burgundy kind of color. The bangs are a great length for my face. I do not need to cut these at all. They are the perfect, like, straight across bangs for my face size, <laughs> my face shape. So if your head looks like my head, these are good. <laughs> I could see this being like a glam aerial ball, a ball gown aerial. <laughs> So specific. But that's what it makes me think of. Ooh, also, <laughs> pal Krista really liked in our last UV Me wig review when we did the flash selfie to see how shiny the wigs look. Like a shininess test is a flash. Again, quick disclaimer, every synthetic wig that I have ever come across does have some shine when hit with a direct flash. So it is not a, a test of is it shiny or not. It's more of like how shiny is it? You know what I mean? So um, keep that in mind, but we are going to do the flash test on all of these wigs as long as I remember to do it. <laughs> okay, so flash test. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. That was pretty good. As much as I can 
I'm not really style hair. I wish Jenna was here. Damn it, quarantine. <laughs> She's so much better at styling hair, but I will try my best. But the main thing is the wefts. Are there are there wefts showing all over the place when they're in updos? Because they're so soft and silky, are they too slippery to put in updos? Obviously they can be put in these updos because the, the product photo shows the updos from someone who can do updos. So it, it can happen, but like logistically, how does it look? <laughs> can they be heat styled? That's, that's another question from the pals. So on the product page, they just say the hair material is high temperature wire. I don't know exactly what that means. I don't know how high temp they can go. Um, maybe at the end of this video, <laughs> um, I, I will find whichever one I like the least and we can, <laughs> we can use it as our sacrificial wig <laughs> and see how high we can heat it without melting it. <laughs> well, that sounds terrible, but the people need answers. All right, so let's try to style our glam Ariel. like a little kitty cat princess. Look at it. Well, I was right. <laughs> I was right. This is the perfect wig to do an updo with these little curly like face pieces. Oh, I absolutely love it. I feel like a princess. You can try okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so, next up, this one looks like it is royal blue number five. So far these have been pretty easy to ID just from the color and the picture. Oh, interesting. It fades to purple. It's royal blue to purple blend. There's purple in here down at the bottom. I guess if you look really close, if you zoom in and look really close at the product photo, you can see the purple down at the very bottom of the swirly thing. <laughs> But TBH, I didn't look that close and I doubt you did either. <laughs> Again, another one that would benefit from a full picture on the product page. So you know, because this is cool. This is cooler than just a plain blue wig. Uh, I wish they would show this off more because it's cool. <laughs> Let's try our little blue purple on. Oh, quarantine hair. Ugh, I keep forgetting, <laughs> it's so bad. Cap construction check. The front here does naturally want to do what it does in the product photo, like it has this natural sort of split in the front. I wonder if you could like brush that out if you wanted to. Yeah, you could brush it out. I mean, it's made to go split in the middle, but if you kind of just take a brush and go like back and forth a little bit. <laughs> they have a long curl down like this. They have it in an updo and like the most amazing crown I have ever seen. Where did you get that crown? I want that. I would like wear that in my wedding. <laughs> that is like the prettiest crown I've ever seen. So yeah, for this one, I would say beyond the um, purple ends, which I guess if you looked really close at the product picture, you could have known about. Um, <laughs> but beyond that little surprise, this is pretty much as I expected. Left check. Flashing. That's not bad either. For a direct flash, um, and especially like this kind of blue, that's not bad, that's not bad. <laughs> okay, and the next one, this one looks like, okay, so it's the only blonde one. Okay, it's number four, it's listed as gold. Gold number four. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Let me gather my thoughts for a second. <laughs> let's let's look at the product pick. Tell me what you see. <laughs> I see a blonde wig, very princessy, with maybe some black stripes throughout. There's um just just one right here. Why? <laughs> Why? Is this for a specific character or something? <laughs> you can tell that there's black in it on in the product photo. So, I mean, if this is your thing, sure. That's this is that. It's the thing in the picture. <laughs> and um yeah, let's try it on. <laughs> Oh my god, every time I take these off, I'm like, oh, quarantine hair. No. Two clippy clippies. I'm assuming that I'm assuming that's the standard for this collection. In the product photo, it looks like the part should be all the way like over here. And they have like a little swoopy number like that. Well, well, there's that black. It's so weird. This wig does not like naturally sit like this on my head. Like this part is not this far over. It's more like that. It's still a side part, but it's not like an extreme side part. Like it looks in the product pic. It really looks like it's like all the way over. <laughs> but it's more, it's more like that. I feel like a reverse on a, <laughs> like instead of a silver streak in her pretty red hair, but instead we have a black streak in our pretty blonde hair, like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Flash check. Ooh. I didn't really notice until I saw it in the picture, but you can definitely, you can definitely see there's like a really thick, um, the edge of this wig, which you can definitely see because the blonde color is very light. Yeah, from far away like this, it's not, not that big of a deal, but in the picture, in that photo, I can see it really like vividly. Yeah, all around, I'm not a huge fan of this one. Maybe this will be our sacrificial <laughs> heat tester. Melty, melty. <laughs> I hope it doesn't melt, <laughs> for the record, for the record. I'm sure I could use it for something. But if it does, we'll be okay. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I'm hyped up. I'm hyped up right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think this is one of the ones that I love, that I'm so excited to see. <laughs> this one, I believe, is, let's find the color. Ooh, I'm confused. So, the seventh one is called Mixed Pink, which I could see that being I could see that being this one, but the photo attached to it is the sixth wig, which if you click that based on the numbers is called yellow pink, which I could also see that one being called that. I'm going to assume this is mixed pink and that photo label is incorrect because up till now, the number system one through nine has been accurate. Oh, I'm so confused. Well, for, we'll call this number seven mixed pink. And I hope that's what it is. I'm trying my best. Oh my God, I love these colors. Oh. <laughs> it looks like candy. Oh my God, I love it so much. It literally looks candy. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. This is exactly what I needed to follow this like evil queen <laughs> wig. This is so cute, so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love it so much. The pink is this perfect, warm, bubblegum, bright pink. And then it has a perfect, perfect lavender on the other side. And then it fades to a yellowy blonde at the bottom. It's perfect. It looks like candy. And I'll wait to put this on. I'm going to do it now. <laughs> oh my god. Dudes. Oh my god. This is my favorite. This is my favorite. This might be my favorite UV me wig period that I've ever tried on. This is so cute. <laughs> Yay. I, oh my god. I don't even know what to say about it. I'm like speechless because I am so excited. I love it so much. It's so cute. It's perfect. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like overwhelmed with how much I love this. Okay, so so honestly, I don't even care how it <laughs> how it does in the flash check because I'm smitten. But we'll check it, of course, anyway. Again, man, these are good. 
These are good, especially for $36 synthetic wigs. These are good, good. Do I have to move on? Can I just wear this wig forever? <laughs> I feel like this wig totally redeemed. I feel like we had a little bit of a bumpy start on this video. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Okay, okay, okay. Honestly, you get the idea. I love it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> and the way that they have it styled. why I did that crossover sort of thing while I was doing the pigtails, that was in an effort <laughs> to try to cover the wefts. Because if you just split it down the middle and then pull them up, you will definitely have wefts shown in a wig that's not made for ponytails. Unless you like add new wefts, like vertical wefts, but I'm not trying to. <laughs> not in the business today of adding new wefts to this wig. My guess is that you probably can see a little bit of the wefts. I think this wig might be a little bit too thin to be doing high pigtails with. Um, I can't see, but I would assume some wefts are showing. So unless you're like really, really good at styling pigtails in non-pigtail wigs, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how wearable this one is in pigtails. But I will say, it is quite cute. Since I didn't tease these pigtails out, it's because I love it so much down, I wanted to be able to brush it back out. <laughs> so cute though, so cute. Ooh. Okay, what's next? Interesting. 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 This here again is why I make these videos. I just had no idea. <laughs> Next we have number eight, gray, red, mix. This is <laughs> a bit of a turn here, a little pivot here. We have gray and red mix, gray, red, mixed, but we also have the pigtails. So this one we do not have to style. This one will come in its style once we put it all together. <laughs> Interesting. Wow, this is a roller coaster of a video today. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, weird. Essentially we have like a little tiny short bob in the front with a long kind of rat tail, sort of. <laughs> it looks like a little moldy rat tail. <laughs> the colors are spot on to what I expect from looking at the product photos, really deep, deep, deep burgundy, which it looks darker in real life than it does on the camera. Let me see if I can turn it down again. There we go. That's better. When did that get like that? Has it been like that the whole time? Son, I need you to work with me here. Stop it. Anyway, <laughs> the color, 
of this one. It's beautiful. Okay, wait. How long has it been like this? Now we're a little bit darker. Let me show you quickly uh, the last few that we did because I don't know when it got so bright outside. <laughs> Um, here is the blonde one. This color is more accurate. Here's the royal blue. Wow, I botched this. <laughs> this is also much more closer, much more accurate. Sorry guys, failing at my job today, but okay. <laughs> this one, I feel like you just gotta try it on. So let, let's, let's try it. Cap construction check. Let's see here. Oh, another question actually. So Jessica asked how hot these wigs get, and I would say, oh my god, this is so strange. <laughs> so I, I don't know for sure because I'm just like trying them on for the first time and um, giving kind of a first impressions review of them. However, um, I would say based on my experience with UV Me wigs, none of them are like super, super thick and heavy. They're relatively thin and lightweight, which is why I always do a weft check. Um, but what I was going to say is that wigs that don't cover the back of your neck, like this here, are going to be infinitely cooler than the long wigs that do kind of keep that heat in. So a wig like this would be much cooler than any of the other long ones that we've already done, unless you put them up in an updo, because then your neck can kind of like breathe a little bit and cool off a little bit. But generally I would say because they are thinner wigs, they are not as hot as like, for example, this one here. Beautiful, but heavy and floofy wig. That wig is really hot. This one, easy peasy. <laughs> Obviously it's gonna trap some heat on the top of your head because it's a wig, but you know what I mean. These are clippy. They're the buns that are clippy. And then this, I would assume, just has a net here so it sits flat against the wig. We'll, we'll see. That's what I would assume. Okay, this is kind of adorable. I was not expecting to love her. Kind of adorable. <laughs> this one wants to show that little underside a little bit. Let me see. I do wish this little, like, cappy thing was like a dark brown or a darker color because if it slides at all, You'll be able to see it. I wonder if we bobby pin. Hold on. Okay, so I wonder if we fold that over and then just throw a little bobby pin action there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, that absolutely fixed it. It's moving around, Woo -doo -doo. can't see it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I am super pleasantly surprised by this one. What? I love it. What? I was like, hmm, I don't know about that, but it's, 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 it's so cute. It's so cute. Flashy check. Cute. It looks cute. Wow. What? I, I, I like it. <laughs> Ooh, the rainbow wig. The rainbow wig had the most questions from the pals. Like, people had questions about that wig. Let's say, we'll save that one for the end. Let's just do this one. Ah, okay, this is the first one. <laughs> this is called Pink One. I can't believe how cute this wig is, right? <laughs> Certainly more of a purpley pink than like a bubblegum pink. Like if you look at this bubblegum color, compare deaf more purple. I guess I would still consider it pink, but it's a very purpley pink. <laughs> and then it has the cute little blue stripe in the bangs. Is there blue anywhere else? Yeah, it's kind of mixed um, all throughout. And this one is another one that is straight up updo, question mark, question mark on the style. Comparing it to all oh, those fishtail braids, those are so pretty. <laughs> I've just made a realization now that we are seven wigs into this review. <laughs> so you see how all of the ones that have updos, they all have a little piece that's hanging down in the front. I thought that was just a little stylistic choice. Maybe give it a little curl. That piece is showing you what the whole rest of the hair is doing. So you see how this one, it's straight with a little swoop at the bottom? That's because this one is mostly straight with a little swoop at the bottom. Okay. I can't believe it took me so long to notice that. <laughs> Blue one. It's got the little curly curls. That's because that wig is curly. Okay. Well, I didn't notice that at all before, but I got it now. Cap check, one, two, one, two. We got both little clips. Okay, this wig is reminding me of cotton candy. Cotton candy. 
Easter candy. Let's check out a little flashy do real quick. Okay, this one is a little bit shinier. This one stands out to me as a little bit shinier than the rest. This one and the very first one were probably the two shiniest so far. But in this lighting and just like, you know, normal room lighting, I don't have any like crazy studio lights or anything. I think it's really cute. I think it looks good. It doesn't look too shiny and just like life light. <laughs> but direct flash light, it does come out a little bit shiny. But yeah, this one I feel like it's pretty straightforward. It looks like the picture. Cute. Okay. Okay. Next. Up is number six, yellow pink, I think. <laughs> and this is another one I was really excited to see because, ooh, in that product photo, it just looks so beautiful. Don't you think? So pretty. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at that mouth. This is one I definitely want to see in different lighting because this yellow, the kind of yellow that is like so yellow that it looks kind of green, you know, like a highlighter. Then I look at it on here on camera and it looks yellow, yellow. What color is this? <laughs> I need to take this into different lighting. Should we go? Wig investigation continues. Okay, so this is the wig in daylight in my little princess room. And there are no lights on in this room. This is only daylight. And the yellow, it still looks a little bit like, it's still a little bit of a weird yellow to me. What do you guys think? Peapod, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know about this yellow, you guys. It's like tricking my mind, it's melting my brain. Ooh, nice, this one does not have any elaborate styling. Going easy on me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, okay. I think if you pair this with the right fit, cute. I have a little neon greeny yellow highlightery color long sleeve turtleneck crop top. I wonder if it's the same color yellow as this. Should I grab it? <laughs> I'm gonna grab it. BRB. This is why it takes me forever to film videos. <laughs> why can't I just review a wig and just be good with that? I get so excited. Oh my god, and then like a pink or purple high-waisted little number. Oh my god, this is so cute. I was really on the fence about that yellow, but with this shirt, mm, chef's kiss, they were made for each other. Look, so many of these wigs, it's always gonna be about how you style them. Um, that can like totally elevate it or totally squash it. This shirt with this. Like, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> hi, 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 okay, 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 okay. And then our very last, wait, test, last check. I would be shocked if this one's not shiny because that yellow is crazy. What? These are passing the flash test with the lighting colors. This is the rainbow wig number nine. The thing about this wig that got the pals in a frenzy. So in this product photo, you see like this magnificent rainbow, but then because it's all styled up, all cutesy like, it looks like there's a black like braid or something on the top. The pals are dying to know, is this wig, is it like a hidden rainbow? Like, is it a black wig? And then if you style it, there's rainbow underneath. You know the hairstyles, you know, you've seen those videos. <laughs> Or is it just a regular rainbow wig but with black mixed in? Can you see the rainbow if it's not styled? That's the big Q. I am excited to find out the A. <laughs> Let's find out. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> it looks like a black wig. I think this is a hidden rainbow wig. I've never seen one. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It looks like though, when you like twirl your head, spin your head, you're gonna get peaks of rainbow. I'm so curious, <laughs> I have to put it on right now. Ditch this highlighter shirt, I feel like it might sway how our yellows look. Cap check, one, two. <laughs> okay, we have wispy little bangs. It just looks black, doesn't it? But then look. Oh. oh, excuse me. I didn't see it with my little rainbow hair. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely gonna have to try styling this. Let's just see. Let's see what we can do. 
This is so interesting. I'm so intrigued. <laughs> I tried, I tried. Um, the main thing about doing hairstyles like this is I love to use accessories. Like if wefts are showing like underneath this black flower, see if I can take it out without messing it up. You can kind of see the wefts here in this like lime green. You can kind of see the wefts because everything is pulled up. But if you pop um, just a little accessory over that one spot, beautiful it's gone <laughs> also leaving pieces down along the front can help like cover up disguise the front of the cap there like that so hopefully you get the idea of what i was going for these flowers are just all wrong but it's what i have <laughs> okay so here is the hidden rainbow one styled like as best I can <laughs> to be like the product photo. You can definitely cover the sides here by draping and like swooping <laughs> the uh, red back and leaving these black pieces down in the front. It covers the edge pretty well. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think it's cute and it wasn't very difficult. Pulled up the black and stuck a bunch of flowers in it, <laughs> honestly, and it looks good. Looks cute, looks cute, looks cute. All right. Oh, hey, I made a TikTok coordinating all of these wigs into cute little outfits like this one, for example. <laughs> um, obviously, I can't play the TikTok here because YouTube's copyright is like absolutely not friend. Don't even think about it. So if you want to see um, kind of some outfits I put together with these wigs, check out my TikTok. It's alexa.pletty. Alexa Pletty was taken, so uh, <laughs> don't forget the dot. Okay, okay, yeah, see you there. <laughs> but yeah, so to answer your question, this is a hidden rainbow wig, something that you would not know from <laughs> necessarily looking at the product page, which brings me a full circle back around in conclusion. <laughs> I think something that would greatly enhance the shopping experience on Uvimi would be having photos of the wigs just like out of the bag, straight up, this is what they look like alongside the styling photos. The styling pictures at the main picture, but then when you click into it to go look at the product page, show, show, show what it looks like, you know? <laughs> just, just my humble little wiggy opinion. <laughs> okay, so what did you guys think? What was your favorite? My favorite, oh, I always love this part. <laughs> my favorite was definitely Easter candy. That one's my favorite. And then shock of the century, the little wine mullet. <laughs> It's a terrible name for it. It's actually so cute. <laughs> the wine pigtail braid split. Both of those so cute. Oh, and also the melty one, but with an asterisk. It has to have, <laughs> it has to have that exact crappy crappy because it was so perfect. Unreasonably perfect. <laughs> yeah, those three were my faves. My least fave, definitely the Disney villain black stripe blonde one. <laughs> The wig investigator experiment time. <laughs> Sacrificial wig time. <laughs> okay, so not a great experiment because I've already run into a problem. My hair straightener, okay, I don't know. You, you guys can't even see. It does not have exact temperatures in here. It just has a wheel that goes from 140 degrees Fahrenheit to 450. So, um, <laughs> We're not gonna know exactly what point she melts at, but we'll have we'll have an idea. A range, maybe. As with all things, we're just gonna wing it. <laughs> all right, so this is at 140. All good there. Let's bump it up to, I don't know, I mean, I guess this could maybe be like 200-ish, maybe? All right, so 200-ish. Did not melt it, but was enough to straighten. It. This piece is now pretty straight. Okay, okay, let's bump it up. Maybe to 250, 260-ish. Yeah, 
definitely still feels good, not showing any signs of damage or anything. So yeah, Alyssa, I would say that these could be heat styled um, because this is clearly straightened and still feels good. Yes, but we will push her to her limit today. Let's bump it. <laughs> this is 300-ish, give or take. I feel so powerful. I mean, yeah, guys, this is holding up. I'm like so surprised. Okay, okay, next, next, next. I'm putting it at what I'm thinking is probably like 400 degrees. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to melt it a little bit. You can tell it's starting to burn a little bit when it doesn't slide as easily, like how a normal straightener would pull through. Um, it gets kind of caught and like, you can see it's kind of jumping on me here. And then the fibers get, you see how it's starting to like fray like this? That sign of damage from the straightener. Um, so that is not hot enough to completely melt it into a puddle, which I have done before, <laughs> definitely done before. But I would say that's too hot if you're gonna be styling your wig. All right, let's cool you back down a little bit. Three, 380, 380-ish. <laughs> Yeah, that's sliding much, much better. My final ruling, I would say keep it under, what, 370? Just to play it safe. It was pretty well straightened at like, what, 200, 220 maybe? So there's no sense in really pushing it this far to where it's possibly, perhaps, in the danger zone. Like why, why would you? <laughs> And I don't know across the board, I would assume these are all the same fibers, um, but again, I don't know. If you're gonna be working with heat tools, I always, always, always wanna put a little disclaimer to test it here in like the nape of the neck. You see this is the top up here, this is the back, um, because this part is not gonna show when you're wearing the wig, so you could test it here where it's kinda hidden and tucked away just to make sure you won't do any damage, but should we crank it all the way up? <laughs> All right, 460, just for science. For science! This quarantine, what is it doing to my brain? <laughs> Putting me in the path of destruction. <laughs> All right, that went better than expected. I don't know why. My my chaos, my madness. I wanted it to melt into a puddle, but it's, it's you know, it's not doing so bad, you guys. And it's damaging the ends as I'm doing this, but... But yeah, that wasn't much of a sacrifice at all. She still looks good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would say based on our experiment today, Alyssa, I would say you can heat style them. Um, just be mindful and always spot test at the nape of the neck. Cool. I, I couldn't even do any full chaos because it that's as hot as my straightener gets. Less high. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good news. It's good. It's good. Okay, let's finish up this video. Let's finish it up, shall we? And yeah, that wraps up this edition of UV Me Wig Reviews. <laughs> I hope I answered all of the questions that you guys had about this collection. We dug in deep, folks. So I, I hope that it answered any cues you got. Thank you so much, Nicholas, for being our featured patron. I hope you, this was a wild ride for you. <laughs> this was a roller coaster of a video. You beat me wig reviews always are. <laughs> That's why they're so fun to make. So thank you, thank you, Nicholas. Thank you, you beat me for sponsoring this video. Oh, I do have a new discount code this time around. It is Alexa12. Alexa12. If you want any of these wigs, I highly recommend Easter candy. <laughs> have I said that yet? Because Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me and giving me such a fun little distraction. Little dress up day. Okay, I think that's it. I love you guys so much. Bye! Mwah, mwah.